Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Georgi Matty. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Today we are checking out some new music from Mr. Ando San himself. Yes, it's Friday, August 4th, 2023, and his new album just dropped today. So we're gonna check out a new music video. But before we do that, let's check out his Instagram so you guys can have a little bit of a peek on who this is if you're not familiar with him. Obviously, if you're watching this video, you probably know who he is, but for those who don't, Let's check it out. All right, so this is Ando San's Instagram page, Ando underscore San. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But um, you know, uh, if you're not familiar with him, he is a guitar player, musician, dude. Um, I believe he's like 100% independent. For me right now, he's probably one of the most inspirational guitar players around. His music is so fresh and different and I absolutely adore his music, his style. It reminds me a little bit of like, uh, New Jabes or New Jabes. I don't know how exactly to pronounce that either, but the, the person who wrote music for Samurai Champloo, he had this like, like lo-fi kind of vibe to it before lo-fi was really like what it is today. Ando San has a little bit of that kind of vibe with his stuff. So let's just click on an Instagram video and just kind of check it out. I mean, come on, dude, like, So that's a little bit of Ando San, ridiculous player. I love how he incorporates the thumping stuff and the, the clean stuff. And, and he also like raps and sings over his songs. And he's just like unreal player, unreal. And, and right now, like he's still a relatively like new-ish guy to the scene. Like he's released a ton of music, but um, you know, 11.6K followers, like not bad, but you know, I he deserves the world. So yeah, I hold a high opinion of this guy. He's absolutely amazing uh go check him out on instagram also to note being that today is friday and hopefully i will have this video out by 3 p.m central standard time um all of his music is available on bandcamp and right now it's bandcamp friday so 100 percent of sales goes to the artist if you dig this kind of stuff and you would like to feel free to check it out on bandcamp here is his new album seeing pastures i purchased this album already this morning I took advantage of Bandcamp Friday just to show my support because in today's day and age it's it's hard to you know make money as a musician and you know streaming platforms is great like Spotify but you know they're not really getting what they're worth through Apple Music, Spotify, things like that. Like it's nice to have, but they can definitely do more. So you can find his music on streaming platforms. It's all there, listen to it and enjoy it if it's up your alley. But if you really wanna support an independent musician, Bandcamp on Bandcamp Fridays is definitely the way to do it just because they get 100% of sales from that. And you know, it's hard enough as it is to be a musician in 2023. So every little bit counts. I bought the album because I, I love the album and I'm a big fan of his work and I wanna support him. If you're into this music too and you wanna show some support, then yeah, throw a couple bucks his way. And I know like right now I'm, I'm kind of gassing the guy up <laughs> hardcore. You know, I don't know him personally. He, no one asked me to do this. I'm just doing this because I'm a big fan of his work and I want to support him and I want to see him do amazing things in music. I wanna see him bloom and blossom in this horrendous, toxic industry. I want to see him come out on the other side uh, very successful. So every little bit helps. Definitely show your support if you're into it. But you know, of course, just stream it if you'd like, share it with a friend, do your part. All right, I've rambled long enough. Let's go check out the music video. This is Chosen by Ando San. Just like Little Caesars, we are hot and ready. Let's go. Okay, I like the I like the vibe. I like the scene. I like this is a uh, very scenic. Hanging out in a field. I think he's based out of California, so this is probably you know. Chosen to see the gods. What do you call that? Wine Chosen country. Yeah. Chosen to be alive. Chosen to see the lies. Chosen to be a god. Chosen to see inside. Chosen to be yeah. the love. This, this is cool. Very chill vibe. 
But I have no idea where this is gonna go. Is it gonna stay chill? Are we gonna get funky? I don't know. Let's find out. But we're here. There we go. Something to know. That's a signature guitar with Ormsby guitars. Pretty cool. I think that was released this year. Well deserved. There it is. Nice. He's just got an interesting production style, which I love. Very unorthodox, but like his playing. There it is, yes. That's dope. cool theme. I can't play that. Numbers rolling in my head. Count the demons in my shirt. Blood falling in the flood. Nowhere to go but I'm dead. No brain but my heart is a bed. Asleep with no beat in the set. I shall return when I'm fed. Then I return to the shirt. When it's summertime. Souls is without a dime. I'm at the finish line. I'm trying to pick up on the lyrics to see what exactly the theme's going on here. But, uh, um, I, I don't know. When they're in summertime, sources without a dime. I'm at the finish line. I don't know. I got psychosis. I'm at the finish line with a sculpture. be hopeless, but a sculpture. Okay. When they're in summertime, that's cool. Kind of trippy. Kind of scary. The, uh, just the, uh, what do you call it? Like a vocoder, like. Very robotic, alien sounding. Wow. Very cool. All right. Well, that was dope. That was cool. Um, you know what? Does he, does he have the lyrics? Are there lyrics to this? No lyrics, just uh, just links to his stuff. Cool. All right, all right, that's fine. That's fine, dude. Sometimes they got the lyrics at the end of the the description for the videos. So, if you know, it little little thing, I would I would like to see that. That'd be kind of cool to see just the lyrics because with music like this, sometimes it's fun to read along and kind of see like visualize what's going on. There's a lot. There was there wasn't a lot going on, but there was. Like the music, I felt like the music was just kind of flowing and it was kind of light, you know, it wasn't like dense. It was very airy kind of sounding, but I loved it. I love the vibe. I love his style. I like how he, it's, it's, just, it's his own thing. I don't know who else is doing music like this. Obviously with his style, that kind of thing is sort of becoming like a, a popular thing. There's definitely elements of like Chon and Polyphia, things like that, but you have to sort of nitpick and just take slight elements out of his music to claim that it's like, oh, that's kind of like Chon or that's kind of like Polyphia, but it's like his music as a whole, it's like, no, that's his own, it's his own thing. It's, it's really unique. Like I said, I'm a big fan of his music. I wouldn't necessarily call me a day one guy. Like I don't, <laughs> I haven't been around since like day one, but um, I've been, I've seen, a, you know, him release a couple EPs and stuff like that. And it, it's cool to see where things have kind of gone from here. And it seems like this year, he is taking a giant step as a professional musician. I see him playing a lot of shows, booking stuff, even going on social media and mentioning possibly touring some stuff and kind of getting a gauge on his uh, his fans, his friends, on like, if I tour, like where can I maybe go? What are some ideas? The song is called Chosen and, and based on what I heard with this, I've only listened to the song once, so give me a break. The way I'm kind of interpre interpreting it is that he is, you know, there have been events in life that have unfolded for him. And, you know, he's just sort of chosen this path and these are the things that happened. I don't know. I am I am horrible at depicting th this kind of thing, but um, a couple more listens. I feel like I'll get a better grasp on it. Maybe is it on, does he have lyrics on Bandcamp? 
You know what? Okay, so he doesn't have lyrics on Bandcamp. However, he does have a section here talking about the theme of the album. All right, so let's see. The entire theme of the album is questioning, is it even worth it to suffer to do something you love? While you are simultaneously enjoying the suffering because it bears fruit for your artistic soul, feeding in its ego and recognizing that the confidence you had when you first started is gone, so you try to get it back by suffering while questioning, is it even worth it? Never ending cycle, yeah. Oh, story of my life, man. Yeah, it's tough. It's definitely something musicians go through. I feel like probably anyone in, in any kind of endeavor where you kind of really have to put yourself out there and just just try something that, you know, <laughs> low low percentage of succeeding, but um, something in you, there's just this this thing that's propelling you to whatever thing it is you're trying to do it yeah it's, it's it's a tough it's a never-ending cycle and you get to a point to where it's like i guess i'm just gonna keep going i don't know if i even want to anymore i've definitely been down that rut and it sucks and so you know i feel like this year has been a good oh I, i'm not gonna say good year because i don't know but for ando san it seems like this year he's really taking a big step into his musical journey I feel like on a more professional level, you're gonna have these thoughts of like, is this even worth it all? Like, what am I doing? You are investing financially in something like this. You're investing in your mental health when taking on these endeavors, physical health, your social health, you know, uh, friends and family and stuff like that. Things just kind of get wonky and weird. And it's just hard to balance everything, especially nowadays where if you wanna be an independent musician, yeah, you have to learn your instrument, then you have to learn how to mix and master and you have to learn how to program other instruments and you got to learn how to do artwork and you got to learn to promote yourself and ugh, so much work and for what you know like the goal is the payoff will be you can just sustain a life of creating this art that, that you're just compelled to make that's the payoff and so i can respect that i appreciate that and that's why I'm making this video just to kind of show my appreciation and try to just kind of get it out there, you know. Now, you know, we all know how it works, right? The the reaction videos to like Periphery or, you know, a video on, on Tom DeLonge or Blink-182 or, or Dream Theater, those are the ones that get the views. And typically these videos, uh, they're not gonna perform as well, unfortunately. However, I, I do think it's still important to just get it out there and for me, for what I want to do with my content, it's to bring awareness to artists that I genuinely like and genuinely f with, you know, help them reach a broader audience. Even if that is, you know, maybe, maybe I get one or two new listeners from this video. Cool. That's one or two more people who can help share, spread the awesome music he's making. So I probably went on a longer rant than anticipated, but uh, you know, I really wanted to just to kind of flesh out everything I'm feeling. And I don't even know if uh, what I'm, my thoughts kind of, I don't know if they came through appropriately or the way I, I want them to, but I'm gonna jam the new album. Um, I'm not gonna say all day, but I'm gonna listen to it a couple times. There's seven songs on it. You know, the songs are relatively short, three minutes, four minutes, not too bad. That's a, that's a gym session. That's half a gym session. I can listen to the album twice and finish a gym workout. So I might do that. Uh, all right, <laughs> that's gonna do it for me. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you have any suggestions on newer artists I should check out, definitely let me know. I've had a couple people email me some things to check out. So I'll probably get around to doing that too. So thank you so much. Take care.